Hi, my name is Michael from ITChef.net and in this video I'll show you how to place an order, receive an order and push the order through to your accounts. You simply choose New Order. You'll have a selection of your suppliers come in a drop down list. You choose the supplier. Their details will appear. It'll create an order number as well as the delivery as a date of order. You put in who's doing the ordering. There's two ways to put in the ingredients. One is you can add all items. If you add all items, all of the ingredients supplied by that supplier come in the list. You simply go through, put in the quantity that you want to receive from each one. Anything that doesn't have a quantity will be deleted out. The second method, you go through the drop down list. We need to order bacon. We can see that we have 10 kilos in stock. We know that our maximum stock is 20 kilos. There's none on order, so we need to order another 10 kilos. You can see here it shows us the unit price, shows us that there's no tax, and the total cost for the 10 kilos. We also need to order some rocket. This supplier also has rocket. You can see that we have 1.25 kilos in stock. It's going to be a busy night tonight. I think we'll need another 5 kilos. We can see that the rocket is $36 a kilo and it's $180 for the 5 kilos of rocket. It's now time to send the order. We'll send the order costed. You can see that it's generated an order. In the order you can see that from the supplier list it's brought in their email address it tells them the subject is the daily order and it tells them who it's from this is the copy of the order that they would receive it would have your logo it would have their name and your name here the invoice number the date of the order and the contact you can clearly see that is broken down into different groups. We have small goods, which has the bacon. We can see we've ordered 10 kilos in the costs. And you can see that we've got the rocket and the five kilos in the costs. You would send the order. We don't want to place an order, so we'll just cancel this order. Assuming that the order was sent, we're now on the loading dock and we're ready to receive the order. We put in the invoice number. The invoice number is We're going to put in who received it, the date that they're receiving it. If they were receiving it on the iPad, they would click on the button Enter Time and Date Received. Their appropriate details will be filled out. Otherwise, you can enter it here or manually put in the exact time. The ambient temperature, that's for the temperature in the delivery dock. Today it's 20 degrees. You can now see that we've received the order. We're now going to put in what we got. We got the full 10 kilos of bacon. We were charged $119. And the delivery temperature was three degrees. We got our rocket in. The rockets changed price. It was $160 for the 5 kilos and it came in at 20 degrees. This price difference will be reflected in the ingredient cost and we'll show that in a different sa sample. We also have some other things that we do on the delivery dock. We answer some simple questions. Was it a HACCP approved supplier? Was the product checked for its use by date and was it visually checked that it was in good order and we check yes to all these questions. We now go to adjust all. When we click on adjust all it asks you do you want to update the values. We'll click OK. It's now gone in there and recosted the recipe with Rocket with the new price 
and highlighted that buy prices changed plus updated our stock take. It's now time to push the order through to accounts. In this one we've taken away the button export it's because this isn't a network we're showing you but in a network we would at the end click export. We had the paper docket that's sent to us by our supplier with the delivery. We match up the invoice number. We can see the total that we were charged. That was determined on the loading dock when we put in the prices charged. We can see that there's a difference. That highlights to us something's wrong. We can see, okay, the price is different. That's why. We then say the order matches up. The invoice matches up, the buy price and the price charge matches up. We're going to approve the order. We're going to say when it was approved. And if we were on a network, we would click export. When we clicked export, it would export the file to whatever accounting package we chose. It would show a time and date stamp of the export and if we're doing it via FTP it will show the pickup time. If we're doing it via API it will be instantaneous. I hope this has been an informative video for you and I'll make more videos shortly.